Could this be the most misunderstood verse in the entire Bible? Probably. Could it be the most misunderstood verse? Because many people always speak this verse, but they never know what it means, including pastors, bishops, great men, people in church. And they keep on mentioning this verse, but in, always out of context. Now, let's go to that verse. In the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 9, the Bible says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that, that though he was rich, Yet for your sakes he became poor. Though Jesus was rich, but for your sake he became poor. That you through his poverty might be rich. So Jesus became poor so that we would be rich. Mm -hmm. Now this is one verse which uh, many, 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 many people have taken very wrong and out of context. Why am I saying this? Many people just think because... Jesus became poor, like when he was living here on earth, he, the Son of Man did not have a place to lay his head, he did not have this and that, so that we would be rich in this material world. That is exactly what people teach. I even heard Kenneth Copeland one day speaking about that. Oh yeah, he became rich, you be, uh, became poor so that you would be rich. I even heard um, so many pastors, they have been speaking about this and saying, yeah, we are rich and we enjoy it because Jesus became poor so that would be rich. Duplantis and many other uh, false teachers. But now, what actually does this one mean? What does it actually mean? Now, the aspect of Jesus becoming man, that was poverty. Let me explain to you how. Jesus is God and he owns everything, the whole universe, everything in it. All the things that you see plus the things that you don't see. And him being God... In his capacity, he was self-sufficient and he's still self-sufficient. But God becoming man, like the Bible says, great is the mystery of godliness, that God became flesh. You know, that's a mystery, how he happened to become man. So now, the fact that God, be, you know, constrained himself and became man to come into the nature of the sinful man, that was poverty in itself. And why did he become man? So that he could be able to save us. And when he saves us, he gets us to his place. And now we can be able to be rich in spiritual things. You see, Jesus became man. God became man so that he would save man who was totally poor. And he would be rich and inherit all the things that the father has given to the son. So do you see the point? Jesus becoming poor so that you may be rich. It is in the aspect of salvation. It is not in the aspect of buying Mercedes Benz, buying Range Rovers, having good houses, good clothes, good shoes, uh, you know, doing all the things material world ever tells you to do. But being poor, Jesus became by him himself becoming a man to save man i don't know if that made sense to you so from today start thinking the bible in a different way stop being confused by people who do not understand what they are speaking about wake up to the truth all right wake up to the truth and when you know the truth the truth shall set you free